Okay, here we are uh, back in Ottawa. Father Anthony Hannon here from to prepare his way. And uh, so part two, and uh, nobody's watching right now, but that's okay. Um, some will uh, come on in a few minutes, and if not, it'll just turn into a video later anyway. So uh, we're in the Rito Center Shopping Center, August 6, 2022. I think there's quite a few people um, in here. Um, there are some people with the outward sign of submission, but mostly not. Uh, this is kind of the premier uh, shopping mall in downtown Ottawa. I don't know if it's, I, I suppose it's probably the largest one in the uh, region. I, I could be wrong about that. Um, I used to work uh, in the parking garage here 30 years ago and um, I don't know it I don't know them all now at all and uh, hi Rosemary thanks welcome back and um, so here there'd be a lot of um, uh, uh, people from all classes and tourists it's a, you know international city here and um, there you go, there's some, some nice dogs in here. Hi. I'm just trying to catch up with you. So, I think we're on the second level, eh, Father Will? I think we can get out the second level too. It's a bit disorienting about, I think we came up that escalator there. Someone was asking about uh, an event. Is the event in Ottawa on 9-11 or 11? No. Oh, so September 11th or, or November 11th. Okay, are you talking about Marcus Ray? Is that the one you're talking about who was trying to get everyone to go to their capital cities on such and such a date? Yes. Okay, look, um, you know, uh, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm not following him. Um, I think it's, uh, whether he realizes it or not, I think it's a, a setup um, for the powers that ought not to be to try to, uh, you know, as an excuse for more lockdowns, heavy police, everything like that. So, I mean, I'll wait and see, but that's not something that uh, I'm thinking uh, of following. Or going to. I think, you know, the answer, the answer to all of this is the same as it has been from the beginning. And it's the same, it's the same phrase coined by Chris Sky, uh, which is, uh, what does he call it? Um, universal non compliance? Or anyway, non compliance. Non compliance. That's what is needed. No to murder stray, dangerous and destructive in my opinion. Yeah, so like I don't, I don't know him. I did see some sort of video about, you know, kind of a call to action, everyone going and I just don't, uh, I don't know. We need non-compliance and let it begin with me. And that's all there is to it. So when the government reintroduces ma uh, mandates, the idea is to say no. People have to learn how to say no with their lives. You know, don't wear the outward sign of submission. Don't subject yourself to um, experiments on your body. So. Let it begin with me, amen. Okay, so we've just exited the Rito Center. Some pretty girls and pretty dresses. Mums. And uh, here we go. Rito Street. There's the Chateau Laurier. So you, and down there is Parliament Hill. So you get your bearings, know where we are. So, you know. Buses come down here, 
and um, So we're walking down uh, Sussex Street. And then, yeah, Mackenzie is over there. So we'll see what these buildings are that we saw the other way, eh, Father Will? So there was this building, and the next building is the, the United States Embassy. It is for sure. It is for sure. But, I'm, but it's the other side of the building that I didn't recognize yeah. that. I don't know if it's another building or if it's, it is the United States Embassy or not. So I, you know, I, in the Rito Center, I felt uh, awkward in there. I felt out of place. Um, you know, downtown Ottawa is, uh, I think any big city, I'm, I'm seeing the fads, the trends, whether it be people who, who are... Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know what happened there, but I lost my headphones. And, uh, no, I'm the one guy that Wrong one. like Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> okay. I lost my headphones. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I was just saying how, um, just saying how I, I, I feel uncomfortable in the city. Um, I think I'm out of touch with uh, current trends in terms of. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm out of place. Out of place in that environment. Maybe we should walk down to the cathedral. Well, definitely, we'll walk down to the Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica. Or do they say Basilica Cathedral or Cathedral? Basilica is a higher rank. Like every diocese has a cathedral. Because that's where that that would be the the parish home of the bishop. So every parish, every diocese has a cathedral. But you know, basilica is a special standing. In Ottawa, we have uh, in Ottawa we have two basilicas, Notre Dame, which has been a basilica for, for I don't know how many decades, and um, St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's became. Uh, a basilica, I think, in the late 1990s, and there are certain uh, certain conditions to be named uh, a basilica. Um, and I guarantee you, they're not met. They're not all, like liturgically. They're not. Uh, they're not always met in a basilica. Um, I think one of the conditions, for example, is. Um, like uh, liturgy of the hours, or at least once a week, or something. Public liturgy of the hours. I don't know if that happens. There's other uh, other things that have to be present there. Baptist baptistry and other things. So some of you may may see this is familiar because on different freedom marches we. Uh, we would go down there to one of the shops that was uh, friendly to us, use their washroom and whatnot. So someone left a message or question. If you have had the vaccine, are you going to hell? Ask Jesus.
Kathy says, busy, hot day, just arrived. Hello, like-minded. <laughs> KMM, embrace the feeling of out of place. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I can put a spiritual spin to it, of course, because, you know, our Lord taught us, you are in this world, but you're not of this world. You don't belong to this world. You do not belong to this world. So I think it is that same building for the world, because look at, look at that top structure. So very interesting. On this side of the U.S. Embassy, it's white brick, I guess. It's a white facade or off-white. On the other side, it's, a, it's kind of a darker gray or brown. And may, maybe we'll, we, we'll, well, I don't know. We might be able to check on the other side. So can you hear me okay? Uh, the traffic's pretty noisy here, but with the mic on the earphones, hopefully... Uh, you can hear me. What's going on here? Clarence Street, so we just take a look. So you see a lot of the, uh, the, the, the sidewalk patios. I think they've been extended because of uh, the mandates and then the allowances for restaurants to put patios out on the street but there's some but they were there like decades ago too maybe not to that extent I'm not sure what do we got here a black bear and a polar bear Here you just find good. Will going to confession cleanse the soul of those who have had the vaccine? Of course it will. If, if someone sees that they, that they made a mistake, if someone sees that um, they've done self-harm, that they've been collaborators, you're going to go inside? Go ahead. That they've been uh, collaborators with um, the, an evil agenda. Um, so if they're repentant of that, of course, they're going to be forgiven. Of course. No problem there. I mean, it's hard to undo, uh, you know, physical things. Um, so, it, you know, it, you know, it could do something for the body as well. But, uh, Certainly, going to confession cleanses the souls, restores us to baptismal grace. Gives us uh, sanctifying grace, you know. If it's a mortal sin, it gives us our whole life back. So, I'll go into this art gallery where Father Will has gone. We've got... Um, these artists, I guess. So I'll go in and ask her if it's okay that I uh, videotape. I'll put it, that camera on me. Hi there, how are you? Fine, oh, it's nice and cool in here and very beautiful. I, I'm, I'm live streaming on my YouTube channel. It's pointing towards me. Is, would, is it okay if I show my viewers the art gallery here? Yeah, let me, please, but the gallery, no problem. Okay, very good. Yeah. Excuse me that I've been wearing this hat. That's, uh, that's, uh, right. that's, that's it? Like that's grass or is it wet? Oh, uh, this one? It's not wet, it's just dirty. Dirty? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's Corey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Patrick Ime, is he an Inuit artist yes. or Inuit? 4,000, huh? Yes. 3,000 right now. That's a deal at half it the price. Really is. Is. I mean, it's, it's an, I, I would say that's a 
I'll just go over this way because the, uh, the lady doesn't want her face on YouTube. But who knows, maybe you, you see some art here and you'd uh, like it. This piece is $900 framed. This also is original art. These glass, large glass, oversized vases. This one is uh, $1,250. That's By the way, if um, anyone is interested in original art, not, not like this, but uh, more realistic landscape, uh, this type of thing, um, a friend of mine has um, quite a few paintings of her late husband. And I think that, um, in my opinion, they're beautiful works. And uh, trying to encourage her to uh, bring it to a gallery. Bring those pictures to a gallery. You know, maybe I should do a YouTube video of some of those works. Kathy says, Jordan Peter says, buy art, love the guy, but commented, he had to buy me some, he can afford it. Yeah, it's true. I like landscape art, geometric figures don't do it for me. Yeah, this is kind of a, a, a blend of, of course, of abstract and landscape. You can tell that it is uh, landscapes, it is nature, but it's, you know, very broad strokes um, and, and not, you know, not like a photograph, obviously. But, uh, I don't know if you can pick up the texture on that. So it's oil on canvas. Uh, this one is $5,000. So they have some that are not on the wall. Nice thick fr uh, frames. But is that one and a half or two inch frames? Father, what would you say? Depth. Maybe two inches. So it's the same style, all of these paintings, but there's a house. It's all the same art. For the Gordon, Gordon Harrison, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Is he local? Do you know? Or? Yes, he's uh, from Ottawa. Now he's mostly uh, landscape and painting. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
A lot of times art like this, it's about the, it's a... What happened there? I think I knocked this one over. And it goes down. I'm sorry. Did I give you a heart attack? Almost. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm just trying to like kind of avoid your face, so I'm just kind of going around. Show everyone. But a lot of times it's the colors that, uh, that speak to people and art like this. Very nice. Thank you for letting us come in and take a look around. Maybe, maybe you'll get a, uh, you maybe you'll get a sale out of, uh, I hope you sell that one. Yeah. Father Will really likes this polar bear here. And What, what is the, uh, medium? Is it marble? Alabaster. Alabaster? Oh, okay. And the black bear? The Soapstone, okay. Serpentine. Serpentine, okay. Serpentine, different type of soapstone. Yes, that's right. Okay. Okay, God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful day. Have a beautiful day too. Thank you. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I turned around and uh, I knocked one of the paintings and it was a domino effect and uh, thankfully she was there to catch the last one. Yeah, well, thank you for the will. You know, that would have been, might, that might have been an expensive uh, <laughs> visit to an art gallery. So. So if, if uh, you like any of that art, it's right across on Sussex Drive in Ottawa, right across from the U.S. Embassy. That's where you can find that. Father Will, just while we're here, let's cross and see the other side of the U.S. Embassy, okay? I used to work at the uh, Chateau Laurier as a valet. So I tell people, you know, I was a professional driver, you know, one time. Anyway, we would park the cars and we'd have to drive down Sussex and, uh, and then circle around up, up by the cathedral there, go down Mackenzie and we'd usually get stopped at a red light. We wanted to get stopped at the red light because then we could test the speed of each car. <laughs> yep. So that's what happens when you, so this is the US Embassy at the back. So we're starting to see how different it is. Interesting. So that's actually glass, there's actually windows there. Okay, I'll just walk up to this center doors. The U.S. Embassy used to be on Wellington Street, right across from Parliament Hill. And time flies, so I'm not exactly sure how old this embassy is. It might be 10 years old, it might be 20. Someone could look it up, U.S. Embassy in Ottawa.
So they got the cameras on me and I got my camera on them. Anyway, God bless USA. We've got large gates for a vehicle or something here. There's a human door gate. And I'm guessing that some of these pylons can uh, come out so someone could drive down there, I guess. I'm assuming. Probably right there. And then these ones here. Yeah, these four and those four on a bit of an angle. There's a bicycle lane. Ottawa is a big woke city, isn't that right, Father Will? Very woke. Do you want to go around it or? No, that's good. Let's. So across there, that's Major Hills Park. So we saw that coming the other way. Through the trees there, you can see the Parliament buildings the parliamentary library, the center tower. I don't think you have to look through the trees. And that's probably where we were filming from up there er earlier today. <clears throat> it's definitely become a hot day. Yeah, I suspect that Jordan Peterson makes more money now than he did as a University of Toronto professor. <laughs> anyway, he's, in, he's done a lot of good for a lot of people, that's for sure, and continues to. I think he, ser I think he searches for the truth. So. Oh, absolutely. Oh, he's a truth man. Beauty. Beauty of truth, etc., etc. I mean, no, he's, he's, what he's getting at is He's getting angry at. Well. Like some of this stuff. I, I saw something that was, you know, on the left side. Um, can we cross here? Let's go over here and then we can get a bit of a longer shot of the Basilica Cathedral and the National Gar Art Gallery. Uh, sorry, what were you saying about Jordan Peterson? I just said it was sort of a, I don't know if it was moderates if there's such a thing these days, but some people that obviously followed him, and then they were kind of critiquing it of late. You know, the next thing I knew, I was watching this thing that was sort of critiquing. Watch yourself. Yeah, I can't hear you. Uh, the people can't hear you, Father Well. Oh. I think we have to get off the bus. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, anyway, they, you have to be kind of close to me for people to hear me. They were, uh, you know, they, they were, it was a YouTube, I, next thing I knew, they, they were sort of critiquing him. And I didn't have time and I wasn't sort of interested in it, but it stuck with me that they were sort of saying he's getting very, very angry. Yeah. And it's a development, you know, that the, the, the forum was to talk about him in the last one. It's hard to think about it from the stuff I've seen. You know, he again is... Can people hear Father Will? He's talking about people uh, critiquing Jordan Peterson. I think that they have a point that he is getting... You know, he's using sort of angst language, whereas the classic Peterson was really from a very, very, very solid, non-excitable, very authoritative, because he's not getting caught in the conversation with him, can, can, can people hear Father Will? 
in his commentary? Or do you hear him mostly just traffic? Anyone in the live chat? Did you hear what Father Will was talking about Jordan Peterson? I, think, I, I just picture his daughter sort of coming up. Daddy, Daddy. I don't know. There's a time to be angry. Yeah. But it's not just angry. So here's this, um, here's this piece of art. I have no idea how much it cost the Canadian taxpayer, but it's this spider about to, you know, she's got her sack there. We'll, I'll go up close. And um, she's got her sack there with all sorts of baby spiders ready to be let loose. Um, I guess. I guess. Okay. Um, but you know, I mean, I, to me, to, to me, this is ugly art. It doesn't inspire. And you'll see across, right across the street, the main doors to the cathedral, and. You know, on a hot day, processing out, they'll open the doors. And what do you see perfectly framed? This. You know, you're just celebrating the liturgy, encounter with Jesus Christ, you know, and you come out and you see this. You know. So, I don't know if there's a, a plaque explaining this or not. But, um, yeah, ugly. The, natu the National Gallery's That's building kind of is nice. Oh, yeah, and look at it. Yeah, so they've got all... Aimless. Is that... So they've got... Uh, Father Will is just commenting on these canvases, so to speak, that are on display. And I think they would, they would normally be, you know, featuring you know, whatever show the, the gallery was hosting. And what do we got? We've got some blank canvases and a woman and a man. Speaking about the kind of the woke and the alienated sort of... Uh, mod urban dweller. Can, just a second. Can people hear Father Well? Talking about wokeness and state of the, city. the state of the city. Could you hear him say that? Can ever can people hear me? Maybe you can't hear me. Okay. Anyway, everyone's shy in the live live chat right now. Or they've just left their commun computer on and went to the bathroom or something. <laughs> oh. A A A I D A I D S. Oh, is that right? I don't know. I suspect. Yeah. Oh, there's a wedding. Priest just left, so. I think that's Father Bergeron, is, is the rector, uh, is the rector of the. About to lead her bride in. Oh, the wedding's about to start. They're just waiting. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock. They're just waiting, okay. So there's a wedding going on, so I shouldn't go in there and give a tour at this time. So sorry about that, about not going in. Look at the bride. 
God bless wow. her and the groom, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May they have a fruitful marriage, many children, faith-filled, sacramental, grow in holiness, and true witnesses to the reality of the love of Christ and His Church. A view from the other side. Isn't it usually the other way around? Everyone is waiting for the bride, not the bride waiting for everyone else. It was kind of interesting seeing the priest outside. I mean, we were, I was always waiting in the sanctuary. Anyway, my days of doing weddings are probably over. <laughs> Unless the, a parish priest delegates me to do a wedding. Well, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm tired of waiting for the door to open. Father well, Will's taking a look at this tandem bike, I think they call that. Do they call that a tandem bike? A bicycle built for two. Yeah. And look, they've got all sorts of backpacks on. Let's walk down St. Patrick Street. And we can go all the way up to St. Bridges, the old St. Bridges Church that they're making into, that they're selling, and, uh, or if it's not sold already. And uh, there's some freedom lovers that are set to purchase that if they haven't already. And uh, they've already set it up as a, um, an embassy of sorts, an embassy uh, uh, for free speech. So uh, maybe we'll take a look at that. We got, the, we got the walk signal here. That's the red light we always hoped we'd make as the valet so we could just gun her from there <laughs> and, and see which vehicle was the fastest. At that time, one of the fastest vehicles was a Jeep Cherokee. And um, the fastest vehicle I ever drove was a Corvette. It was a standard and it was geared such that um, even in first gear it was really fast. <laughs> So, anyway, that was a fun job to be a valet driver for the Chateau Laurier. Hello. Eh? Hey? Hi. Oh yes, do you want, I'm on live, I'm Father Anthony Hannon, I'm a Catholic priest, how are oh, you? Oh, what is your name? Oh, nice, Debbie. Debbie? Yeah, this is my mother, Marianne. Marianne, nice to meet you. Have you been, were you at the cathedral? Yeah, we were, we just yeah. did. Do you want to, do you want to go on my live stream YouTube? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's great. Is the wedding over then? The wedding's just oh, over. Oh, that's over yeah. because you see the, the yeah, maybe the right. father and the, and the yeah. bride. Oh, no, no, not that one, yeah. Oh, no, it's the we next were, one. It there, was the one that just happened. There was another one. Yeah, okay, so who was, was getting married? Oh, okay. Well, you know, this is uh, Gabby. Gabby? Uh, Gabby Hey Luna and uh, Samuel Menica. And okay. Uh, I flew all the way, well, actually, I drove all the way from Toronto. Uh, very, very good. Very good friends of, of the family friends. Oh, it's not nice. Who lives in Ottawa. Okay. And, uh, you know what? It was a beautiful ceremony. Oh, beautiful, yeah. Really and was that your first time in the cathedral? No, I was in the cathedral actually 
actually many years ago. Probably yeah. Thirty years ago, I was a bridesmaid there. So oh. Uh, my best friend got married. It's a beautiful cathedral, and it's it's just iconic. And it I is. thought it was wonderful that it's it's so beautiful, uh, centrally located. Yes. And so we went across the National Art Gallery. That's where the reception will be. Yes. Oh. And yes. So, so the, are you going to the reception now? Uh, no, no, it won't be until a little later. So oh. We'll take a break. What what time? Maybe we'll crash. I'm teasing. <laughs> we won't crash it. We won't crash Nobody it. Don't know. Nobody noticed. No, no. I, I, I have my suit jacket in my. Do I have my suit jacket in my truck? I don't know. No, no. no. Well, there's so much history in the church. I think it's really wonderful. Place. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful yeah. cathedral. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people are, are so yeah. happy that it's open up enough that they can have now beautiful weddings again. Yeah. So oh, thanks be to God on that for sure. Well, we, we're walking. We're, we we want to don't want to keep you, but um, yeah. So. Um, are you are you you're Catholic yourselves or no? Um, actually, yeah, Christian, we're Christian. Non-Catholic. I call them non-Catholic non Christians. Okay, yeah, non -Catholic. And Catholic Christians, non-Catholic yes, Christians, yes, or whatever. But, but my mother's family actually is from Hong Kong. And oh, Hong Kong, yes. And many of them are many years Catholic. ago. Yeah. yeah. Yes. How long have you been in Canada, if I may ask? How about sixty years. Sixty? Yeah. That's great. I'm fifty-nine years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you so you came in 1961 or 62? I, I come at 58. Oh, in 58, over 60 years. Yeah. I can bore you. Yes, that's right. You yeah. could be my mother. Yeah, yes. Yeah, my, my mother if, got... If got... you're a good boy, maybe I think about it, but no. Oh, why not? Why not? Why not? Look She's me up. My, my mom, yeah. uh, God rest her soul, she died in, uh, in 2011 at the age of 90. Oh, okay. Almost 91, very, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, you only have one mom on earth, eh? Hey? And so, yeah. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes. When I in, I come to Canada, Ottawa. Yeah. In fact, Ottawa is a very dull city. At that time, a very what city? Dull. A dull. dull. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Nothing. Sure. Just the just the downtown. Yeah. No, 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 not north or west or whatever. Yes. Yeah. At most is a. Uh, are you going to the parking lot? Yeah. Okay. At that time, you hardly have any good food. Oh, yes. Yeah, at that time. Yeah. The vegetable is yellow or whatever. Right. It certainly has changed. Right. And yep. now, oh, now so many good places to eat. Yep. Oh, yes, that is yeah, true. Really that is true. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm a priest for the Ottawa Diocese, but four years ago I asked the Archbishop if I could leave parish ministry and start a silent retreat center. Oh. So I'm out in the, in the, in the forest normally, really? um, north of Kingston. And uh, Kingston does not have very many good restaurants. Well, they might, yeah, but, but they all close at 9 o'clock. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. if, if you only, only Montreal is better. Montreal. Oh, Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. Montreal is a wonderful, oh, wonderful time, city. If uh, I want to put, eat, I have to go to Montreal wow. and wait for the restaurant one or two hours to have a good meal. So, so you grew up in, in Ottawa? But I, but I like Ottawa. I love Ottawa. I love Ottawa. I love Ottawa. Oh, so do I. I love Ottawa. This, this city is so great. People are nice. Yes, that's yeah, true. Nice. Yeah, and we have a government safe city. Nice too. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't agree with the government being nice, but that's okay. We can disagree on that. What do you expect? <laughs> that's true, yeah. Too fast. Too high. <laughs> Low expectations is better. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then you're not disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> because this country, they 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 uh, they look every person is valuable. That's the main thing. Everyone is valuable. I guess compared to Canadian, everyone is the life is in, is valuable. That's very important. Uh -huh. If they don't care if people die or whatever, that's that's different. But this government is very good. Everybody have their they they value us. Yeah, I guess compared to other countries, I guess it's sort of it's, okay. it's very close yeah. to heaven. Oh. To me. Okay. Well, there you go. There you have a contrary opinion to what I believe, and uh, most of my most of my followers' YouTube channel are are ones who uh, who uh, uh, never uh, uh, accepted that that the last two years, two and a half years, the world has been under a plague. Oh, yeah. So that's that's my position. So when we look then at the government, we see the government is tyrannical, overreach. But if you, I guess, if you look at them as benevolent, uh, benevolent. benevolent, then then they protected us and everything like that. But I see they ruined people's lives, closed down businesses, uh, needlessly, and uh, but you know. 
So you see, that's the thing. Yeah. But what's going on? I hope we are not tonight in, in TV or anything. Why? Oh, on TV? No, 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 no. Yes. TV? No, no, no. This is a YouTube private channel. Private talk, you know, yeah. private talk. Oh, yeah. oh, sure, sure. Oh, yeah. The, okay. The, the YouTube channel Canada. The YouTube channel is called To Prepare His Way. To Prepare His Way. And you can look okay. and you can see it. I We're at, this is the... I have your silent retreat. What's going on in Hong Kong now? Hong Kong. Hong Kong, oh. no, Hong Kong is very good. No, but I mean, but, I mean, but much is going on politically. Now, no, with China, China, and Hong Kong. Yeah, now China. it's it's big thing. They want it before. Yes. It's a riot every day. Oh yes. And now so peace. Now it's peace. And now everything it's peaceful, is un. They well, make it. They make it the under the <laughs> under control, and the government is that everything is so so good to the law. Depends on the law. Okay. Not like the. Say so. Okay. But, yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Has a good future. To what do you, how Kong. do you think about China? Because I, what I about up China? in Hong Kong. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So what about China? Well, no, you know it's funny. funny. If, if you don't, if you don't get, get mad of them, they want to be peace. In fact, China wants peace. Yeah, in the history, well, we don't we don't attack don't, anybody as long in you China. Don't disagree with them? No, you're we okay. don't attack. <laughs> Except you don't voice out your opinion. Yeah, yeah. we've been yeah. weak for uh, at no. least two hundred okay. years, years. Now it's the time is to stand up. Is that's thinking, what I. That's what this is just the way life is. You see? See? For China? Yeah. Yes. I see. In Qing Dynasty, so, or even earlier. So it's funny because the old. We, we just like a colony. Just a sec. I think you both have great things to say. Just give me a second. I know this country so well. Yeah. Canada and and China. Yeah. I, I'm very good Very in similar, Canada and China right now. Huh? Very similar, Canada no, and I, China I right now. No, I don't know to say it, but no? everybody has their own. But, but China yeah. still is a good government to me. Okay, China's yeah. a good government. Canada is a good government. Yeah. Yeah. And China daughter, daughter, government. daughter, daughter disagrees. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they they, no, li they I, listen to can no, Canada's news. No, the older, the older oh. generation we, is yeah. in home. We They're didn't talk actually, about politics. They kind of think, listen, this was the way, this was agreed, this was the way of life. China, you know, has come a long way from years ago when they were, when okay, they were very let's young. Let's go. And we have yeah. 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 And now, yeah. you know, they built the government. Nobody so this has got to be good because yes. we are pro Beca Yeah, because we're things are, are making progress. progress, right? And of course, with Material Hong Kong coming something. through, they go, well, you know what? The economy is doing well in China. Hong Kong can kind of kind of can also have a good life as well if they if they're willing to cooperate whereas the younger generation like me will go no 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 yeah, they're you know empires what? they're yeah, empires because, and they're yeah because it, 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 yeah this it's move. not uh okay. it's, you know it's Ola, it's Ola, not a democracy god Ola, bless you check it's been check, nice to check. Just, very nice to meet you to, yeah. i appreciate uh that's a I appreciate hearing your perspective. Yes. Um, that's so important. That's part of when I say hello to people. What's that? And I wouldn't live in China. No, no. But, yeah. no, no. but I would visit it. People, she born here. I was born here. So yeah. my viewpoint is very Western. I come to Canada. Your viewpoint is very Eastern. 20 years old. I, I know, know. Wow. I know China how it's going. I don't know why Hong they make such a big fuss. And the economy. Like but kids, now, but now the different. Going, I can you know? tell. Okay. So Where it's better it? now. But Hong Kong is yeah. better now under the Chinese than under the British. After is quiet now. Everybody before they they are not set. They want to un, still under English style. It's a ca Canadian yeah, Britain, European style. Rule. They still want but to be under British. But now Britain. China. Hong Kong to, wants to in yes. general. Yeah. In general. But but you yeah, think it is better for the better anyway. In the future. It's in the future, okay, okay. Well, yeah. I, well, thank you so much for letting me know me. that perspective. Yeah, of course. Everyone ha we, everyone sees it the way we, they do, right? We've been colony for many years, hundred, right. hundred fifty years. Right. And it's time to. So you see it kind of independence. Yeah, uh, because uh, yeah. It's, it's now is the time to yeah. to have have our own freedom. What a, what a, what a yeah, joy to meet enough, what a joy enough. to meet to meet the yeah. both of you. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, check so, out the YouTube channel. And YouTube, what's the, uh, to prepare his way. To prepare his way. Okay. Okay. okay God bless you. And then see, and then see don't see get too on, don't on. yeah. You did very very well. <laughs> and uh, I, I hope I didn't say the wrong thing. No no thing. no I, not at all. That's from my heart. I, I want the, every country good. You know, Canada, great. You know, I want, I just... That's right. Because it's my mother country. I can't yeah. forget them. Yeah. Just like a right. bad child. Yeah. You forget <laughs> your mad mother. Tell me. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So, God bless you. So, God bless. so have a great day. God bless you. And enjoy the reception, the wedding reception, your yeah. time in Ottawa. Yeah. Okay? Bye-bye. Well I will. <laughs> Bye. So, there you go. Um, it is really good oh, to have good. someone... Uh, talk to us about 
um, about their perspective that might be different. So um, I don't think I'll comment any more uh, on that and hope that they do watch the video and, and uh, see themselves and see how, how wonderful they did. And um, yeah, I mean, we see it. Uh, we see it differently. Um, although the the the, uh, the daughter who uh, grew up in Ottawa probably sees somewhat similar, but we didn't get into the nitty gritty. And uh, it's best to, to 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 just leave it like that. Okay, so let me turn this around. So that's the uh, the parking lot for the the cathedral. And I didn't show, but that would be the the Archbishop's residence, or sometimes we we call it, you know, as many dioceses would, the the, or the Bishop's Palace. So just walking back here a little bit, right? So that would be the residence there. And there you go. Since there's a wedding going on, there's no. Uh, I won't be going in there and. Disturbing it anyway, or risk disturbing it. There's the good old Catholic church in there again. Starting hospital. Oh, this plaque is in thankful memory of Sister Elizabeth Briere. And she's a can I saint, isn't she? Saint, is she not a saint? I don't know. Um, and those who helped her establish on this site on May the 10th, 1845, the first general hospital in Ottawa, where care would be given to the ill without distinction of age, sex, language, race, or religion. This small hospital, originally located at 169 St. Patrick Street, was the forerunner of the Ottawa General Hospital and the Elizabeth Breer Health Centre that serves us so well today. Installed by the Sisters of Charity at Ottawa, May 10th, 1991. So, 169 St. Patrick Street. So across the street we have 174. So those are the even numbers. So it would have been here, right where this parking lot is. Tore down a hospital and built a parking lot. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so there's a, a building over there. This is in disrepair. Paint peeling. When we were driving in, we saw, um, you know, the sound barriers going down the uh, Highway 417, uh, which in Ottawa is called the Queensway, and uh, and uh, so much of it was uh, uh, built out of steel and painted steel, and the paint was all uh, peeling on it. So that was, uh, you know, again, not a good sign. It looks like to me like the city of Ottawa is falling apart. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. So... Of course, this is older, older part of Ottawa. Um, I think this section would be considered lower town. There's some fake brick on the side of that building and some real brick on the front of it. Paint. No, no. Painted oh, orange. I, yeah. Yeah. Right. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Oh, here's this is interesting. Right up here, you've got you know uh, row houses, and Down in they're obviously you know um, individually owned. Um, if you look up at the top here, or maybe just to the side, you might be able to tell. But certainly at the top, we've got it. Uh, more freshly painted on the left side and then there's a line right in the middle and then it's not painted on the other side. Now maybe it's just they just haven't finished and that was a nice way to kind of stop it for the next day but actually that new paint doesn't look that new either. Anyway, like I said last night, uh, I can criticize anything and I don't want to do that. There's a nice, nice work of brick there. I think these are newer builds though. I don't think that's uh, you know, just the re redone of brickwork. 
um, it was probably a tear down and, and rebuild, but done in the same style. Up ahead, we can see the old St. Bridget's Church, which I mentioned a few minutes ago. And uh, in Ottawa, I did go there when the, uh, a little bit, uh, when the Oratorians were here in Ottawa in the late 1980s. Then uh, Archbishop Fleur, God uh, rest his soul, um, asked them to leave because they were seen as divisive and the parish, uh, it, the parish was being rebuilt by them. The uh, beautiful paintings and the sanctuary had been painted over white in the 1970s or maybe late 860s after the Second Vatican Council and uh, they were restoring all that, and it's, so it's still beautiful there today. If the doors are open, maybe we could go in there and see. Anyway, the Irish Society, uh, so eventually, the, the parish was dying before the Oratorians came. Uh, they had just, you know, very few parishioners going. The Oratorians came in, people started going from all over the city. They started a restoration project. They were amazing confessors, reverent masses. Uh, the late 1980s, 1987, they probably came here, and then they left. Probably, they were only here for a few years, uh, but best confessor, I... They were all, though, kind of dispersing them. Well, they were more traditional. They were, right? So they, they oh, didn't, no, they, yeah, yeah, the Oratorians, you know, yeah. St. Philip and Neri, and they, they had come, this oratory came from Vancouver, uh, and um, anyway, um, of course, when the Oratorians left, then, then, then it kind of, sealed the fate for St. Bridget's Parish because there just wasn't enough parishioners going who, you know, and the ones who were going, right, previously to the Oratorians, you know, they wanted the guitar and the folk music and everything. Um, and the Oratorians brought in Gregorian chant. They offered the Novus Ordo Mass, but they did have some Latin. Um, they didn't need extra ministers of Holy Communion anymore. They didn't... Uh, you know, they, they didn't want the contemporary music of the late 19, well, whenever. And, um, um, so when the oratorians left, yeah, there was no way that that parish could keep paying the bills. So I think it was sold after, I think it was after I was ordained, maybe, maybe, maybe around 2005 or so. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was, uh, yeah, something like that. Father Tim Amiet, God rest his soul, he was appointed there to uh, kind of uh, manage the, uh, the closure of it. So God bless him for, for, for taking on that, that job. And uh, he died a year or two ago. God rest his soul. Um, so. And that was just up for sale. The is to well, they sold it already to the Irish Society, but now it's either up for sale now again or is sold. And uh, we'll see if the doors are open or we'll say hello to these people because they'll, I'll, I'll put the camera to me is when I'm more conscious, conscientious, I, conscientious, I do that so that uh, in case they don't want to be on camera, but I'll introduce myself and let them know that I love freedom and all of that. But maybe, eh? Maybe the entrance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have, they have a, a yard and stuff and I'll see, uh, there may be something going on or not. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 
I look forward to meeting you, Jake. Thank you so much. Jake. I also love shaking hands. Two years later, I had you. Good, 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 good. Thank good. you so much, Jake. Uh, I'm Father. I'm Philip. Father Anthony Hannon. Nice to this, meet this you. This is Father Father, Father, nice Will, to meet you, Father. Will Howard. And uh, sorry, your name again, sir? Philip. Philip. Nice I I am on live on my YouTube. Uh, the camera's on me. Is it okay if you go on camera or, um, you, want, uh, or you can you can wait. I'm not doing it. We're just walking around. Uh, I just to know about me. I I am a Catholic priest there, size of Ottawa. Okay. Been going to all the freedom rallies. Oh, good. Okay. And been coming down here Open and. Let us pray. I hope. Eh? No, no, and giving encouragement, yeah, right? Because you're. On the right side of history, we are. And St. Bridget, St. Bridget was actually on the right side of history. Of course. I just learned a little bit about her. Tell us. Tell she, us. She was apparently a, uh, uh, She was very vocal against the uh, the powers of the day. In, in, mm -hmm. in France. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah. A, she was yeah. a, like a freedom fighter in the in her day. But no, not France. Ireland. Uh, Ireland, Bridget. Ireland. This is this is the Irish parish. Oh, okay. This was the Irish parish. This is the 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 Irish and the French. And Justin so Trudeau was uh, baptized here. Um, was he? Isn't yes, that interesting? Sure. I did not that's, realize that. That's true. Huh. Uh, yeah. That's Can funny. I was, shade? You guys I'm happy. Here? I'm happy. Like I'm happy to. Water while you're here for the, the, you know, you guys wow. Father, well, I, yeah, let me get your water. Can, can we, can, I was just telling my viewers, yeah. the YouTube channel is called To Prepare His Way. Okay. And you know, I covered the truckers rally sure. and everything, just yeah. so you know where I'm coming from. Okay. And uh, covered. I mean, I went. I, I wanted, I blessed everyone. Yeah. You can see it all uh, on there, all the I, live I streams I did. I, 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 I'm, not, I, I'm not worried. It's just I'm not really a spokesperson. Okay. I'm only a volunteer. Okay. That's fine. So if you, if we don't have to. No, no, it's not, nothing. Don't talk about. It. But if the doors open, can I show yes. people the? Uh, take a, your, uh, yeah, because I was I was just telling the people how the oratory. Do you know? Are you from Ottawa? Do you know the history I've been of this? Here Twenty-three years. Old. Twenty-three years. Okay, uh, so. I just belong to. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I can't remember the name. I'm having them. Sixty-five. I'm losing my mind. Um, I can't even remember one of my best friend girls' names today. Um, weird. <laughs> <clears throat> well, so I was just explaining how uh, St. Bridges was uh, taken over by the Oratorians, and they were the ones who, who um, revealed the beautiful paintings in the sanctuary. Yeah. Oh, did they? Well, yeah. Uh, there's probably more because we, uh, we looked. Of course, them. there is more. Yeah, they were painted over. I'm sorry. Is it okay that you yes, show you your ahead. face? Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, that's okay. A, oh, my, my name is no, leave it open. My name is Philip Laflesh. Yeah. Okay. I live in Ottawa for 22 years. I'm a protester against the um, government. You're, you're speaking for yourself, not for, for not for this organization. Uh, no, or gonna, that's why I'm saying this. Yeah, yeah. I'm a protester against the government of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's. I want to change the government. I want. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to change do. the system. <clears throat> I'm not trying to overthrow them, but I want to get a vote. And right now, this, uh, uh, um, I don't want to use any bad words, but demonic coalition between Trudeau and Singh needs to change. And that's why I'm yeah. here. Plus, uh, there's a lot of causes in Ottawa that you can't get a place. Yeah, this I was explaining to the viewers. I just, I don't know if my face is going to show up here or not. So I was just explaining that. Uh, I don't know if this has been purchased already by the, from the Irish Society or whatever, but it's, they're setting it up as a, 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 an embassy of sorts for free speech. Is that, is that fair, That's probably? Right. If you have a cause that you're not getting a, a, an opportunity to organize or have a meeting, you're going you're gonna to come here if it's legal, right, and you've got, you can fill a room, we're going to let you have a room. You could, there, I don't know prices and all that kind yeah, of stuff, yeah. but membership initially is free. Yeah. And yeah. Then there's uh, upgrades uh, from there. Uh, it's going to also be a business center mm -hmm. where small business or young people starting out uh, can um, um, uh, 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 get like a, a business center, you know, where they offer photocopiers, a desk to work on, that kind of a nice, thing. Nice, nice. So, uh, They'll be they'll be set up booths with the internet and all that stuff for a fee a month. And fee. and uh, you know it might be a place for example if I'm I'm, I'm a priest of Ottawa. Yeah. But I asked Archbishop Prendergast uh, in 2018 if I could leave parish ministry and start a silent retreat center. Sure, you could have so, a meeting here. So if I'm meeting someone, maybe I could have a, a, a space where I could meet people. Yeah. Hey, how are, how are you? Nice to see you. Father, yes. Yeah. Associated uh, with the. Uh, Sisters of uh, Queen. Oh yeah, well, I invited them up. Uh, I'm I'm live on YouTube right now, so I don't know if you wanted to. Uh, 
I, did you want to be on camera or uh, no? No, it's, you know what? I, I heard about this place, and I came here for many masses a few years ago. Okay. Uh, when I was at St. Bridges. Exactly. With oratorians? Um, well, I don't know. Father, the, the last priest was Father Pedro Aranra. Oh, pa okay. Still okay. Priest. Yes, I know. I know yeah. who he is. Yeah, yeah. He was after the oratorians. That's yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because being an Irish former Irish parish, it became known as a Filipino parish. Oh, all the lots of Filipinos. Filipinos. Yeah. My wife is Filipino. Yeah. No kidding. Nice girl. Yeah. 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 And, uh, but the Filipinos it's, are it's, the same. It's. No, we, I guess there's not enough Filipinos to save the church either. Yeah, right, right. Uh, M Mulligan? Mulligan? Is that Mulligan? Sean Mulligan. That's right. Okay, I'm still oh. for fresh Sean. Please can we have a volunteer yeah. here? Oh, because you know what? I, I saw uh, uh, the, the, the trouble <coughs> people were making on TV. You know, CTV and so on. And <laughs> they I, must uh, be doing something right, eh? You're doing something right because, you know. <laughs> that's right, that's right. The, 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 Probably you've seen William. All, the, all their feathers are being fluffed. All the Sean, fluffed. Sean, you're very photogenic. Can I put your face on sure. my YouTube? Yeah. Okay. So just so you know who. Right so that. Um, so anyway, I, I know you know. There's, Ottawa is a relatively small, amongst practicing Catholics, a relatively small uh, group. So um, this is Father Will Howard, by the way. Father and, Will. And uh, Father, I forget your. Anthony name. Hannon. Come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come down. yeah. <laughs> we usually say come higher, but we're saying come lower. Yeah. Come lower. That's Sean Mulligan. Sean, Sean, Sean Mulligan. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. So, what, I, I forget the name of the, uh, the the group of the community. There was about three three people were interviewed, you know. Uh, uh, there's some kind of a community organization set up here, and they thought it was affiliated with the Freedom Convoy. Well, I mean, it's, I, I bet you, the, the, anyway, whatever the case, I think, I think he, he can, Philip can, uh, I think it's called uh, um, uh, Canadians for Unity or something yeah, like that. something like that, eh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I thought when I, first, when, I, when I first heard about it, you know, I, again, as soon as the media is upset, we're doing something right, eh? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. And I, that's why I just, I, I came here, I dropped my son off, he is, he is meeting with some uh, fine Ukrainian people. They're putting together some kind of a festival and a fundraising event for next week. I said, okay, I'll drive you downtown to save you some time, you know. And I, I brought some uh, the pamphlets from the uh, Christian Bearman's Park. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I think I can get them here. I don't know if I'm going to... I, I, yeah, I, I was just asking... I was just asking Philip if we could see inside oh, the church because I wanted to show oh, the... Thank, well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Show everyone the hat. <laughs> anyway. So. So, Father Will's looking at the stonework. My hand's wet now, so I don't know if this is going to work. There we go. Never thought you put wood oh. in the foundation. Unless this is That's right, wood in the foundation, that's right. It rots out. Yeah, I'd love to see the old church if I Yeah, well, you know. I I don't want to take liberty because uh, so hi. 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 Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Excellent. Good, thank you. I'm waiting for somebody in the garage and then I just wanted to had to play here years ago. Oh, see, uh, and uh, I've missed the. Uh, yeah, I'm just not used to seeing your father here with the beard. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I know. I have yeah, had, had a beard for a few years now. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Because Are you an actress? Yeah. No. <laughs> one, of my, one of my friends used to perform with them. Do you remember Don Cavanaugh? Oh yeah. So I really just wanted to show you upstairs, but um, they've got fans, the humidifiers going on in here. You can tell it's quite damp, as one might expect. But um, I don't, I mean, it does look kind of like an old uh, renovation, so... That's cold water. <laughs> so 
So I'm just waiting for those who are uh, watching. I'm just waiting for the opportunity, for, just for the go ahead to go upstairs um, to show you um, the sanctuary, which has been preserved for the most part. Of course, the church has been deconsecrated, and the Irish society, um, you know, wanted to re retain that and retain the heritage and and. Uh, who knows? I, I think they probably had in mind that someday that the... Yes, go ahead. I'm just live streaming. Go ahead. You, go ahead. Ask whatever question you want. Yeah. So... You know, just somebody might think they're their key. No, people are so not. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I mean, I don't... You know, you people are in trouble. Can I, can I go upstairs to show? You can do... Uh, yeah, you know your way. Oh. oh, so we're in. Like, we can go inside there. He thinks I know my way. Now, I, I am wearing a hat normally inside. I don't want to wear a hat, but um, it is a deconsecrated church, so I'm going to leave it on because I only have so many hands. I've got the selfie, the self, selfie stick in one hand. No, it's going to give me a business card, so I don't want to, I don't want to get lost. You want me to wait for him? Go on, Mike. So... <clears throat> I'm going to go out of sight. This is the uh, logo for this new group. Um, so it's a tree with all sorts of maple leaves on it. And I think it's Canadians for what? I can't remember what it's called. For unity, anyway. Canadians for unity. And so, is, this was a bar, I guess, or, they, or it can be. Not when the church was here, obviously, but there they've got draft beer. They probably have pub nights here or something like that in the basement. There's all the beers you could buy. Today, Saturday, after, are we 4 p.m. yet? Is it 4 p.m. yet? <laughs> no. So, oh, there's washrooms over here. So, I wonder if they're usable. I'm not going to go to the washroom right now. I'm just saying, just checking, you know. <clears throat> anyway. Father Will's gone upstairs, but I'm sticking around for Sean. There's an ATM. There's some pews with some pads on it. I, the, I am going to go on a limb and say these are not pews from upstairs, but they they could be. I remember going to St. Bridget's in the late 80s, early 90s, so we are talking 30 years ago, over 30 years ago, um, and it, there was no pads on the seats. It was very uncomfortable, but maybe they added them later. Maybe that was the nail in the coffin in terms of expenses, um, but I, I recall slightly different style, but it was a long time ago. So. This is a little bit different video. We've been on for an hour and 14 minutes, so I pity the poor fools that are going to be watching this video later thinking there's a lot of content. <laughs> That's my best uh, imp impression of Mr. T, for anyone old enough to know what Mr. T is.
walking across the floor to join the conservatives. He's in Niagara. He's very upset if Niagara's losing dollars every day because of that arrival. Well, this, this was, uh, so, talking about Niagara West, this was uh, uh, Harold Jonker from Niagara yeah, West. Yeah, Jonker, I met him in the convoy. Yeah, he's had a lot of trouble. He, they're really going know, after him. Yeah. And I, I met him a couple of times that uh, were fellow members of CHP and he was vehicle number one here. Yes, he and was. And ten other vehicles from the street. Yes, okay. I know he was a big player in this thing. Yeah, I met him at I was at Coventry every day for the full, uh, nice, nice. every day. Nice. So, Philip, are all the washrooms, what washroom, if I need you to just wash them, should I go to there? Anyone. Yes. I'll be later, because I'm not, I'm live, so I'm not going to go. No problem. I'm going to go upstairs, yes, so. Sir, before you go, this yes. is the first room we're doing. Yeah? Okay, so we're working on the floor right now. We hope by tonight it'll have a, the first coat of paint. The majority of it? Really? Okay, by yes. tonight? By tonight. Who, yeah. You're not the only volunteer then. No, I have a couple of people helping me, uh, but it's too hot right now, so we're, we're working late. We're just switched our hours up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, there was mold in here. There was all kinds of things. Okay, I'm a renovation specialist. Oh, you are? In my history. Great. I worked on Catholic churches in Montreal. My father was a deacon. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's uh, making the connection here. I, for, I uh, made for connections, me. believe yeah. me. Um, and so I understand these buildings very well. There was there was mold over there and a little bit over there. We've gotten rid of it. There's no mold in this building except <laughs> if it's hidden from us and we can't yeah, find it. Yeah. But uh, the air quality is very good in this room now. Now, what's the name of the organization? Is it Canadians for Your Unity, or what is it called? The, uh, the Canadian. I'm going to go get a business card. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Phil. Thank Thanks, Phil. Right so there you go. Yeah. So. Yeah. And God bless, you know, the, uh, the sisters, Prince of Mary. Yes. They voted for me in the last two months. So oh, they did? God bless them. Were you, were God you God running? Were you me. running? Okay. Yes. Yeah. I was in uh, Hull, Hull Elmer in 2015. Yeah. And I crossed the river and I ran in Ottawa, West Virginia in 2019 and 2021. Have, have you ever seen my YouTube channel called Two Preparers Way? No. But, but uh, I know the sisters are setting something almost every week called Sister Build, eh? That's right. They're building their convent, so it's a wonderful thing. So uh, anyway, you can check that out. You might not like me, though, because uh, two federal elections ago, I encouraged everyone, well, for the both last one, too, but two uh, you know, especially, um, I was encouraged everyone to vote for PPC, okay. People's Party. Right. But um, because I see the, the freedoms, we need the freedom, or we're going to lose everything. That's right. We'll never be able to defend the unborn if we don't have the freedoms. But the only thing I, I, I dislike, <clears throat> father by the PPC. Yeah. I agree with you on every issue. Is I think they keep saying we are the first party to, to uh, stand for life. We are the first party to stand for family. Yeah. We are the first party to stand for freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were, we've been around since 1986. The CHP. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> the CHP. You know. I. I think because of the because as you know politics it runs downstream from culture, the, the CHP might have fared better if they called themselves the Canadian Heritage Party instead of the Christian Heritage that's Party. That's what some people are saying, you know. So um, anyway, just that's the only thing, and that's just reality. That's just politics. If we were Greek philosophers, we could have a healthy debate about that. Well, I'm, I consider myself a philosopher, okay. but I mean, the, I mean, the reality is we've, we've got to change the culture from bottom up, you know, but um, anyway, we hope for, we hope for a political solution because the direction the country is going right now is not going to be good. Socrates once said that those of us who do not engage in politics will be governed uh, by those who are, what is it now? Uh, I forget now the exact uh, okay. quotation, but with the... Uh, I've studied Plato, but I don't remember the, the quote. Socrates, but yeah. Yeah. Will be governed by uh, lesser people or less educated people, so right. something like that. Yeah, well, Plato's... Socrates, of course, never wrote anything, but Plato is the mouthpiece for Socrates, and he wrote his great political work was the Republic, Philosopher right. King, and that's everything. Right, yeah. So, the yeah, that's a great 
it's a great book. I encourage people to read it because it's very amusing, right? It's a, it's a great, it's a strategy diagram. All those people, problem. Philip, and they're interviewing them, they live in the area, and say, oh my God, I hope they're not affiliated with the 300 pound coin. I'm just laughing, eh, myself, eh, watching this, eh? You, well, just, you, have, know, you just have the one card, is that yeah, why? I, I'm going to give you each one, no, but it's not, it's not the way, I, I don't know this. Father, you said you're on YouTube? Yeah, to prepare his way is the YouTube channel. Okay. And, uh, you might find it helpful, or you, me, or you might be scandalized. Remind me of your last name again? Hannon, H-A-N-N-O-N. Okay, H-A-N-N-O-N. Yeah, you okay. can ask your sister. Okay, Mary. Yeah, you can ask Mary. <laughs> you can ask Mary. Um, so... <clears throat> Yesterday being the uh, first Friday of August. Yes. Okay. Was also I'm going to give the, you the uh, website and sure. the true name, okay. right? Which is the. Um, I'm going to give one to my friend too. Where he's, he is. That's but not the, the, the cross. Uh, can I borrow your pen? Sure. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it, it's more of a stylus and a pen. <laughs> anyway, that's right. You're, you're funny, Sean. <laughs> you're funny. I, I, I can't go anywhere without it. I need that stylus for my. My cell phone, eh? Oh, okay. Because yeah, uh, the keyboard is so small and my fingers are so fat, you know? Well, yeah. Yeah, and with auto spell correct, I've sent a lot of texts that are like, what? I didn't mean to send that. Sometimes it's kind of embarrassing. I, I know a father for the, the March for Life. There you go. Thank you. And that's the gentleman who's uh, representing them, uh, handling the startup here. His name is William. William Corner. William Corner. Yeah, okay. if you want to call him and make it talk to him. So what's your last name, Phil? LaFleche. Philip LaFleche. Okay, all right. I've, I've been so, in Ottawa 23 years, brought up three kids. Well, uh, Phil, Philip, my YouTube channel is called To Prepare His Way. Yeah. And uh, you can you can see uh, what I'm doing here, and I'm just going to show people around. And yeah, no, I, thank I, you I so much. I'll, I'll take a minute and take you upstairs because okay. that's very important. But this is going to be ready by, we're starting meetings on Tuesday here. Oh, yeah. Great. Downstairs. Great. There's still be work so is it sold already? Uh, yeah, or? There's, there's due diligence being done. Yeah. The final is closing in October. Uh, but there's, uh, you know, they're, they're doing due diligence. But I think that the uh, group that's selling it is very happy with what the plan they Is it the Irish Society? Yeah, or? I don't know. Okay. Is it, okay. Anyway, United, United People for Canada, that's yeah, the name of the group? So tomorrow when we do tours, what this, street is this? This is, uh, or is it the back? Back? Is yeah, it the back? This street here, yeah. That's Murray. That's St. Patrick. I don't know what this street is. Okay. Called. Not yet. Yeah. Next time I will. Right. Uh, but this is our, <clears throat> our first entrance. that's ready to, so people can do tours and not walk. Yeah. In, I guess the night. Irish Society had had pub nights here or something. This was a very, very popular pub, from what I hear. It was a great place. It, it, well, it supported the parish, right? It, no, it was after no, no, the parish. No, no, no. Yeah, uh, definitely after the after definitely after the parish. <laughs> Definitely have it yeah. uh, But the thing is, we're going to make this into a coffee shop. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, wow. With nice. a deck outside, nice. you know what I mean? And, a, and a, you know, we're going to make use of the whole property and, and also a meeting place. If a right. group has a, yeah. can use this space and there's not, it's just coffee, we'll, we'll probably be doing it here too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah it's, really a, it's really a community right gathering it's place, huh? And if, before you go, I can give you a give you both of you my contact if you like. You yeah, know, of course. It. I would like that very much, Phil. Okay, so here's the back of the church. Yeah. Right. Yes. And so it, this, the the, the, the okay. one of the uh, uh, um, mission statements or concepts is to repurpose institutional buildings mm -hmm. um, and maintain the original purpose uh, historically. So if it was a school, it'll still look like a school originally when they went there in grades, whatever. When it was like this will stay, everything you see, will most of it will stay, right? When we need to, there's already a curtain system for the stage in the front. Um, the pews are staying. Okay. The stations of the cross are staying. It's historic. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, the stained glass is staying. Yeah. We're going to be putting... Uh, uh, gla the glass that I'm highly recommending is 
doesn't affect them at all. I've sold them to churches in Montreal. They're really good windows. It has heritage value, Philip. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. You, can't, you can't put a price on the heritage value. If I'm correct, Father, St. Bridget um, lived around the same time as St. Patrick. Did St. Patrick baptize her? Uh, so anyone who's in the live chat, if you want to do a little uh, search there about St. Bridget, B-R-I-G-I-D of Ireland, and uh, maybe we can answer Sean's question. And you know what? I'm going to throw in there for your group that she was a badass. <laughs> okay, anyway. So research that, because she was a fr freedom fighter in the days of, uh, uh, of St. Patrick, I guess. 100,000 Balkans. So these are... Uh, these are the pews that I remember, obviously. Um, so they're you know, quite different than the pews from uh, downstairs. Um, although they have pads here, and I, I'm sure the Irish Society put that, those pads. Um, there are no pads. Look, they've got chairs lined all up here. So between you and me, um, I'm glad that they're keeping, they're trying to, you know, keep everything, the stations across and everything. Um, because, uh, you know, uh, my hope would be, and probably most of you, that uh, this would be, that there would be a resurgence of religious practice of the Catholic Church someday. So these, um, are very traditional stations across. They're, um, you know, whoever painted them here, the, you know, it was, I don't know if it's part of the restoration with the oratorians or not. Um, the paint is not bad, but it's very simple, right? It's not, if you go to St. Patrick's Basilica, you'll see, I think, the same, I think you'll see the same um, 3D uh, stations, um, but the, the 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 artistic work on it is, is more more detailed. Put it like that. So we have a statue of our, our lady. So, of course, as I said, this is deconsecrated, but I have taken my hat off because this was a holy place and obviously still has the holy images. There's the St. Therese of Lisieux there. Um, let's see, who would I guess that saint is? Um, <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, one of the early Christian martyrs. Um, not Saint Philomena. Um, anyway, anyway, this is a, a, a actually a very beautiful um, paint on the statue of Our Lady here. Let's see if I can get close to it. So. Very beautiful, and uh, even the uh, the paint of the serpent and the apple. You know, that's you know definitely above average. The Saint Cecilia, who who was the saint uh, known for music? One of the early Christian martyrs. The Birth of Christ donated by St. Anne's Society. This, to me, looks like part of the Restoration. Remember, I told you it was all whitewashed and the Oratorians paid to uh, uh, remove the paint. That's all they did was they, they removed the paint. They didn't, I don't know if they touched anything up or not. Of course, this was the sanctuary. Um, you can see that, okay, we're on a stage right now. So because there would be the pews. And, of course, here we have the high altars here. And, of course, it would have been deconsecrated. Um, I'm going to step on up on this higher stage. I hope I don't fall. 
And there is an altar stone there. So, I mean, there's a spot there for a relic. It's closed, it's sealed. I presume that there is a, 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 a relic in that altar stone. So I certainly do pray that this church, this building, is restored um, into pra to the practice of the faith someday. So we here we have, a, you know, a nativity scene. Again, this was, you can tell it's old. Of course, there's a lot of upkeep, there's cobwebs. But it was all painted over white until the Oratorians came and, and restored it. They were here for only a brief time, but they had a, a great impact on the Church of Ottawa, in my opinion, at least for me personally. She's being taken down from the cross. And Bridget, pray for us. I'm actually kind of speechless. I don't know what commentary to tell you. Um, there's a sadness but also a joy and a hope because, you know, um, I think good people are, are taking this building over. And um, people interested in freedom. We have St. Patrick over here, like I was explaining before, this was the Irish parish of of Lower Town of Ottawa. I don't know when St. Patrick's was, was made. St. Patrick's is on Kent Street, if you're looking on a map. Um, so that's more, we might call it downtown. So, Mr. and Mrs. William Burke, Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Kame, Mr. and Mrs. John Bambrick, Mr. and Mrs. John Kinsella, Mr. and Mrs. Dennis O'Brien, Mr. Mr. W. R. Golden, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mary Monahan, or Mrs. Mon Mary Monahan, I guess. In memory of W. Kelly and Mrs. E. Cavanaugh, J. J. Whalen, Mrs. Ann Cousinaugh. So, Lord, for all of these souls, uh, I ask uh, that if they are in a state of purgation, that you would. Uh, purify them and bring them into beatific vision. Um, and uh, as we pray for their intercession, for this parish, St. Bridget's, for the Catholic Church, especially here in Ottawa and Canada, and for our beautiful Canadian country. And for all those who are uh, taking stewardship of this building. Sorry, there's a piano right behind me, so I can't get any closer. I think that would be St. Catherine of Siena. I would say. So, Father, while well, this has been de deconsecrated, it's still, I think, a holy place. The 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 uh, the uh, there's an altar altar stone there. Altar stone um, is intact. It looks like the altar stone is intact. Yeah, it is. You wouldn't. I, I would have thought that would be part of the consecration. Well, they would have taken that away exactly. It would be a, a, a exactly. So my prayer is that one day it will be restored. Uh, that mass would be celebrated here. Of course, we're standing on a stage. We're very elevated from the. Sanctuary. Got some old heritage forward. I mean, it, 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 it does have um, somebody 
I took my hat off. Yeah, of course. Because, yeah, of course. you know, <clears throat> many, many prayers have been said here, yep. Many holy communions, many baptisms, weddings, funerals. <clears throat> Grand piano. So it's a beautiful uh, crucifix here as well. I think I'll step down so we can get perspective on things. I mean, if they're keeping some element of Well, the, the group, yeah. Anyway, it's good. I mean, one day, one day, please God. up those uh, stations. <laughs> I was just commenting on it. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Well, somebody got to it. Somebody had a brilliant idea. I'll go in a color for your father. And he said, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But did you see, did you, did you go at our latest statue there? Go take a look at the, the uh, uh, intricacy of the paint on that statue. And I would say St. Bridget's statue would be similar. Your marriage, Lord. So we have uh, Saint Joseph up here, and again, I believe these paintings, these murals of Father Will, yeah. were. Um, they, they, were, they were just painted over white, and then when the oratorians came, they just removed it. They didn't do any touch-ups. They were able to remove the paint. Oh, were they? Yeah, okay. That's okay. The, that was the restoration. Okay. This, again, back in 1987 and following, forever long they were here. Nice. And then, of course, here we have the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So somebody maybe went and got... Well, I mean, that was what they did. They painted them like a marble. So they must have, like I've done that in some of my okay. trick painting. If you go, you, you very, 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 very carefully take the, take the paint, off. paint off. Do you think, so behind here we have some just painted plain. Well, I'm just trying. Because it does look, I'm, it, it looks, I mean, how you know, would, how you know. Would you ever have okay. one like that? Okay, you know what I think happened? This is, this is my prediction. We see these other ones here. And look, they've got cracks on it and everything. So all, all of the pillars, except for one, the, there's two back there, Father Will. Well, the, those two and this one. My guess is, and it might have been when the Oratorians were here, that they were, to... they were starting to restore them. And so they fixed them, plastered them in, and then painted them like that. That's probably what happened. Because there's no way that you could take that beige paint off oh, and, no, and, it's, and, it's and, 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 but look at that one though, Father, because the, the, the marbleized ones are in such a better shape. Oh, 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 I don't know. No, no, look. Okay. Yeah, it's there. Somebody. Oh, it is. It's underneath. Yeah. You think no, so? No, it's just. It, that's it, not just the wood? You take, you take. No, that's just the wood underneath, Father no, Will. No, look. look at the, compare look, the color. Look, you see this? That's here we, faux. Here's Father Will and I arguing again. This is faux. You see that underneath there? That's the faux. And you, what you do is you just take, you take, take paint remover and you just go layer and you just, and then you stop. You see, that's the faux right there. Right there. Yeah. I think th that may be true. Look, look, look. Okay. Yeah. You see the gold right in there? Okay. All this? Okay. So here's the thing. They've taken it's, it off. No, I agree. But, but when you remove that, you don't get that. They took that off, then they restored it. Uh, possibly. That's my they theory. That's, we'll find out at the final judgment when all things will be revealed. <laughs> you might know. I'm being. 
we just, you know, Father Wilner, like, you know, like when I was a teenager, our friends would get in arguments and we didn't have the internet, so we couldn't say, we'll check on the internet. <laughs> so, I'm right. No, you're right. No, I'm right. <laughs> Do you think uh, the organ is there? Yeah, the organ. The, the pipes are there. But the organ. Did you go up already? No, Phil. Oh, Phil was saying, okay. Okay, so. Because look, the style of these pillars redone is different than the style up there. It's almost as if an artist said, well, we'll do that one like this and this one like that. Which one do you like? I don't know. Who knows? God knows. There's a confessional. You're sitting there and you can just see all the redemption. Well, I have a feeling it's full of other things. That's where this comes from. Well, it's not a church anymore. No. So uh, push this back, Father Will. And please, it's not on wheels, but we want to open the door there. We want to open the confessional. The priests want to see inside the priest's side of the confession. Okay. There you go. So. Anyway, the... Um, those who are watching live right now, I know this is of interest to you, and I just pray that anyone who looks at it later, will, it will be of interest. You see, I think they, they took all the paint off the walls. That's why they look the way they do. Like off of all this wood. Right. It's a huge thing. Take all the paint off, and they never have treated it. Yeah. I think it's just going to yeah. for yeah. all. Yeah. Well, who knows what would have happened if the returns had stayed. No vocations. What do you do? Well, the oratorians had tons of vocations. But why did they leave? Because, because, Archb because people complained, and Archb from that, Archbishop Plourd decided or declared that they were they were divisive. No, 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 no. This was the in the mid 1980s. St. Mary's Parish, where Father Bob Bedard, God rest his soul, was. That was kind of the place where you went for some orthodoxy. I mean, and some stronger... St. Mary's? No, St. Mary's. Oh, St. Mary's. The charismatic parish. Yeah. But, you know, so they declared... Bob Bedard, yeah. Yeah, so Father Bob Bedard, you know, declared and in the formation of the Companions of the Cross that they are Eucharistic, Marian, Magisterial, and Charismatic. Yeah. So for those who wanted Orthodox teachings, and he, Father Bob was a great preacher, um, in his very kind of humble, uh, self-deprecating humor way, um, that's where people flock to. And, yeah. But the more traditionally minded Catholics um, tolerated the charismatic. And when the Oratorians came here, they came here. Because it was more, of well, course the organ is here. <laughs> the organ is here. And the pipes are here. Yeah, he said, I it, guess, I, I don't know, I asked about the organ, he said, I don't know, maybe you just, maybe, it, I guess it doesn't work. Maybe, well, yeah, maybe you thought you wanted to play it. <laughs> no, I mean, for sure, this would be like a huge thing that hasn't been played in a long time. These things need tuned up and stuff. Um, so, so the oratorians came here. They had many men uh, discerning the priesthood with them. I went to school with uh, one, of, well, one of them, another one I knew who got, later got married. Um, anyway, it's, it don't, no need to get into great details. But they had enough men studying philosophy and, and, and discerning with them that they didn't need any of the 
uh, laity to read at Mass. The Oratorians always used Eucharistic, Eucharistic Prayer Number One. They uh, also the, offer the Mass in a similar way, which is kind of a monotone um, way, so taking their personality out of it. But their big thing was as confessors. And um, so the people who came here, they loved it. You know, it was filling the place. Uh, I, well, maybe that's an exaggeration, but, but certainly compared to what it was before. But the, the, those who had been coming to this parish for decades, they felt hurt and slighted because the oratorian said, we don't need you guitar music and we don't, you don't need to be an extra minister of Holy Communion anymore. We don't need you to read. So they didn't like that, obviously. They complained. And, but I mean, just, that, just taking off that plain paint was a huge thing. So anyway, please God, maybe myself or you, Father, will offer Mass there someday. Um, who knows? Maybe sooner than later. Who, who, anyway, who knows? Who knows? If the Lord don't, they say, well, uh, God willing, if the creek don't rise, uh, but we might say, um, unless, until, unless the Lord comes before that. <laughs> Didn't mean to laugh. It's just, you know, laugh or cry. <clears throat> So this is, we didn't get in Notre Dame Cathedral, but we got in the old St. Saint Saint Bridget's Parish. <laughs> well, we wouldn't be talking like this, I guess. So there's lots of pictures of Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica of Ottawa on the internet. Not so much this, not so much a tour by two priests. Um, you'll notice there's a column up there on the, uh, up high on the wall that they've restored the marble look as well. Just, you know, the four, three or four foot section. You know. So, how nice of uh, Philip to let us come in here and take a look around. Yeah. Oh, here's my patron. My namesake. St. Anthony of Padua. Pray for us. Pray for me. And the child Jesus appeared yeah. to him. <laughs> and uh, St. Anthony, wonder worker, he's got a loaf of bread in his, in his hands, feeding the poor. Many miracles attributed to St. Anthony of Padua. Oh! Look out the window. There's a number for... Uh, a lawyer, or for alterations, and your laundry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's go, go outside. I hope I don't fall down these steps. Yeah, I mean, if you won the lotto, twenty, forty million dollars. Throw a million, $2 million at this, this is selling for like something like five million dollars, by How the much? way. Five point two nine or something like that. Okay. I think, well, I think we'll exit the way we came so that we can say goodbye to Phil. Yeah. Thank him. The, um, the lot the most of that, right? Well, I mean, I don't know. It's probably been declared a heritage site anyway, yeah, um, yeah. so that you, they have to. That's what you know, there's another confessional. And while the oratorians were here, they were made use of, definitely. You know, there's good people in the world, a lot of good people in the world. And the people who are uh, buying this, I think they're good people. You can feel the cool air, the fans, the, the air movement from the dehumidifiers. Oh, under there, right. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's basically the statue that uh, that I have. That might that might have been donated by Chris. It might have been donated by him. So they want this the f first coat of paint on this floor done tonight. They're fast. I, I need to get them to come out to the retreat center if they work that fast. <laughs> okay, put my hat back on. Don't get blinded by the light now. Phil, thank you very, very much. So you can... Um, So is that the entrance for the for the cafe there? No, that's the OGS, that's the uh, uh, ramp. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get all get it all cleaned up. Uh, we gotta get uh, figure out how to get people from the main floor to the bathroom. Oh, I see. Okay, we we gotta figure a way to get a, a system in for them. We don't know what we're gonna be doing. Yeah. Exactly, but we're figuring it out. Yeah. They're figuring it out. I, I'm just, uh, you know, like I said, I'm you're the janitor. Yeah, you're the janitor, but you're, um, do you mind if I sit down for a second? No, please, take your time. Um, rest your, rest your, rest but you've done restoration work and everything. I, I'm a, I, yeah, I, I've been in construction all my life, more or less, because my father, besides being a, a corporate uh, America guy, he was also a, a, a speculator, so he bought and sold a lot of homes. Uh, my great, my grandfather actually brought the first tractor uh, the D4 to uh, Manitoba, hmm. first uh, caterpillar to Manitoba wow. when he was like very young. So he had a large, he was a road builder and uh, built the Winnipeg floodway. So hmm. any of your watchers will know what that is. Wow. Um, and then uh, him and I in Montreal, we, he was a deacon and you know, he, he was very involved with the church. So we did a lot of work. We removed the When did your dad die? Um, geez, now it's going back to 2004. So, God rest his soul. Yeah, so I've been in Ottawa for since 2001, and my son is a bricklayer. So I'm also involved in. Uh, I've been I've, I've been doing construction in Ottawa, but only on a minor level. Well, look, you check months. check out my YouTube channel. Do you do you remember the name of it? No. To prepare his way. To prepare his way. Okay. Yeah, and then from I there. I ask you before you left. Yeah, and then from there, you can see about my retreat center, which I haven't updated the website and in four years but uh it's more or less the same type of thing and uh you come on up and visit sometime if you want yeah it's a place that you have to use. it's a place that i have uh, Check it out, yeah. the idea is uh, it's a place where people can get unplugged and undrugged so there you go. so it's and go get quiet and yeah, listen to god where where, there, where there's a priest so the confession mass is available if yeah, they want it yeah. spiritual direction whatever yeah. and then in the background uh, for those who want the help um, I also offer help with uh, uh, addictions and codependency recovery. Sure. Uh, most importantly, um, integrating the Catholic faith sure. with that. Sure. So, well, so, so the twelve that. steps in the Catholic faith. Uh, you know, I, I believe that faith is is, is something. Uh, um, I, I I'm part of something, and I have faith as a child in that particular thing. I don't question. You know what I mean? I, I, that's, I, yeah. And also, my another favorite expression I has is, if you have faith, as a grain of mustard seed. <laughs> yeah. All things are possible. That's you true. Know, and I pray every day that my faith increases. You know good, what I mean? And, good, uh, good. Um, I, you know, I, I really believe that the, 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 the world needs it now. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. No matter which rabbit hole you go down, yeah. this so, is something I'm, so. I'm, 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 I, I, I say a lot, too. You don't have to bury your soul, by the way. We are we are alive. You know. I don't believe I'm not burying my soul. Trust but, me, yeah. I have a deep soul. Uh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, I yeah, get yeah, it. That's a good. That's a good line. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, I lost my tra train of thought now. I'm I sorry to interrupt. Oh no, no, that's quite all right. It 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 it, it, it it'll come back to us. But but the. Um, you were talking about faith, huh? That faith, yeah. The world needs faith because no matter which rabbit hole, you know, I, and I, believe me, I've heard a lot of different conspiracy theories, a lot of different theories about what's going on, and I investigate them, and they all lead to the same place. All of them. Good versus evil. Right. Have you heard of Archbishop Vigano? Yes. He's so one of my heroes right now. Good. He should have been the Pope. He should have been the Pope. 
If so they, if, if it's if, it, if that's what's possible, it, it's really yeah. yeah. Well, the world's messed up, but yes. we must not forget there's a lot of good in the world. And you as, know what? And, and, and every day, uh, uh, <clears throat> like even here in this this this, this short week I had it because Monday was a holiday. Uh, okay, you know I'm thinking, oh, we got to get this done. You know where we eat. next thing I know. There's resources, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's great. It just happens all the well, time. Well, in God's timing, right? Yeah, right. So. And, 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 and you know, when it's my timing, things can get pretty weird. <laughs> right. But when I trust the Lord and turn it over to Him every day, yeah. my days are better. Turn no it over, time. and yeah. And I, I've been t the advice I've been given, the general advice, is uh, live one day at a time, live the serenity prayer, because there are things beyond your control. Uh, so li But live one day at a time. Make sure you don't forget to live. Don't let the tyrants... Steal your daily life away. And remember that God is with you. He loves you. Yes. And uh, then recently I've just been asking people to uh, say some variation of this prayer in their own words if they want, obviously. But uh, Lord, uh, use me as your instrument and uh, give him permission to love others through you today. Absolutely, because you know? that's I'm, my favorite prayer when I'm driving around and I see people walking down the street. I pray that the love of Jesus for that person, for everybody, enters my body and the love of Jesus enters their body as I'm driving along. Yeah, hey, I man, love that one, man. And, and you know what? So, I have that's, some great days when I'm using That's that. Philip's version of that. And I think, yeah, so, well, you know, what a joy. No, I don't know. I don't even know people's oh, last okay. names. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, yeah, you're, see, I saw the statue of St. Anthony of Padua up in the choir, in the choir loft. Okay. And that's my patron because that's my namesake, Anthony. Yeah. And what Father Will is referring to is a saint, St. Philip Neri. Oh, okay. And since your name is Philip, he's, yeah. he would be a special namesake patron of yours. You can ask his intercession. Um, and, and, I mean, you can ask his intercession of any saint, you know what I mean. But the thing is, St. Philip Neri... He's the founder of the Oratorians. Okay. It was the Oratorian priests yeah. who came, so a group of priests who formed an oratory. It's, yeah, you'd have to look up a, a little bit of how that works. Yeah. They were invited to Ottawa by Archbishop Plourd to take over this dying parish of St. Bridges. No kidding. Saint, so, so, the, so under the patronage of St. Philip Neri yeah. were the priests who came here. Okay. There was a handful of them. They were amazing priests. They were... They, and they were the ones who, who were stripping away all the paint to yes. reveal the murals. Okay, okay. They were very traditional or, uh, oriented. So the Catholics in the city who yearned for that um, started coming here. And this parish started flour again. flourishing. Okay. But as the story goes, so this is, you know, I wasn't at parish council meetings or anything like that. I was... I was uh, doing my undergrad at University of Ottawa in my uh, uh, late 20s, I guess, at the time, mid, mid to late 20s. And, uh, but, you know, the former parishioners, they kind of uh, didn't like what they were doing. Oh. They liked the fact that, 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 that more people were coming, but they didn't understand that the reason people were coming was because of their preaching, because of their liturgy. Very reverent. Very, but they said, "Look, we don't, we don't, we're going to use some Gregorian chant. We're not, we're going to use more traditional hymns. We don't need your guitars. Oh, okay. We and we don't need you to read at mass anymore either, because we have we have a number of men who are discerning the priesthood with us, and they need to be the ones doing the reading at the mass. So they got their nose out of joint out of that. Okay. Complained to the archbishop. So archbishop plured." Uh, asked the oratorians, well, told the oratorians to leave. Okay. So, so he, 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 yeah, he, he asked them to, told them to leave because they were divisive. And then that, would, that spelled the end for this parish, of course, because, because all those people, they were coming not because of the church or location, but because of the liturgies. And the oratorians, the oratorians were also uh, tremendous confessors, the best confessor I ever had. Father Donald Nielsen, God rest his soul, he died a month before his 50th birthday. Just after they had gone back to British Columbia, okay. he was on an exercise bike and died of a heart attack. A month before his 50th birthday. But he was the greatest confessor. He used to hear confessions in St. Pat's Basilica. Okay. And um, all the priest oratorians offered the Mass the same way. Um, they were facing the people. 
uh, I offer the mass ad orientum, and that's kind of a uh, kind of a uh, you know a, a movement, so to speak, to uh, to help restore some of the tradition and 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 the the the, the symbolism of the offering the mass, uh, the priest offering the mass, and the people assisting at the mass. Um, but anyway, that's another story. But they offered the mass facing the people, but they all they always used Eucharist prayer number one. We call the Roman Canon, which is the closest to the uh, the uh, would be the closest in English to the uh, uh, to the 1962 Latin Mass, okay. and uh, yeah, so so that's why people were coming, yes, for, right? Yeah, because not they were getting a different. They were getting. Than what they were, they getting were getting somewhere else. Yeah, that yeah. they get anywhere. Else. So that spelt the end. Then when they left, it spent the end of this parish, and and divisions also within the Catholic Church community within Ottawa, um, in terms of uh, cynicism. Um, uh, against the uh, episcopacy, the bishop, the bishops, and um, et cetera, et cetera. So, so then this building, of course, then was sold to the Irish Society. They deconsecrated it or whatever. But you know, Father Will and I were noticing some things there, and we're very grateful that um, it is being kept yes, and, and, it's very and, and restored. It's and, and, and that's the, like if it was a school, it would be the same idea. It would be keeping the original, uh, uh, so people could see what it was used for historically, and we're adapting to the situation. Rather than adapt the building to us, we're adapting to the building. Good we're you. adapting to the, like, like right now that's all aesthetic, right? It's the aesthetic. Other people say, well, why are you keeping that stuff? Well, oh, that's part sure. of the history of this building. Oh, and I'm if so grateful. We're so grateful. You know, if you took the pews out, yeah. you'd lose, you'd, you'd, those pews, I read about it because I'm big in architecture, and I, because I, I, we were talking, uh, like I mentioned before, you can stand in the back and hear them at the front with no microphones. Right. Uh, and that's because of the pews being there. That's all designed uh, to work on the. Amazing. It's all acoustically. Yeah. Before the age of computers, they knew more than what we know now. Well, you know, before a microphone, I, I can't imagine, yeah. it, you know, he's sitting in the back row. If you whispered something, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was going to come and talk to you after mass. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Well, what a joy to meet you, Phil. Um, you. I think I'm going to. Uh, well, I think we're going to walk off now. You sure. again, two prepares way is the channel, yeah. and then you can see you can I'll, see how you can see how it. great you did. Uh, subscribe and check out my other videos I'll if you want. Subscribe. I subscribe to lots of things. Uh, Why I, not? I'm, 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 uh, Doesn't I cost like anything. Think, uh, the days I can't do stuff, you know, because of health or whatever, I'm a keyboard warrior. Uh, That's, you know, and I'm proud to say it. I'm not okay. embarrassed anymore. So, well, you know, I, well, I, I get on there. Uh, you know, if you look at the way the situation is, evil on online is winning out because they're promoting it. We outnumber them. The, the, the good people outnumber them online. Right. But they bullied us off. Right. They bullied me off. In yeah. 2017, I put all that stuff and said, I'm never going back to it again. But now I'm on it because we're in a battle of minds. Yeah. And I take the, you know, they, they have the nerve. They send you a message. We're shadow banning you because we didn't like, I, I wrote on it, uh, and I could say this, duck you fake book. Yeah. Okay, and I've got a 90 day, I'm on a 90 day, and it's Suspension. longer because it was July something, they sent it July 10th, wow. and that they sent it to me. And now they sent me another one August 1st where they're adding the, another meme that I'd sent out that they decided they don't like. So I'm on 90 days of his August 1st. Wow. So well. don't give up. We've got to get back on there and fight against that evil and stand up to them. You know what I mean? Sure. Because they're winning. I'm well, yeah. Well, God I'm wins mine. in the end. And, we, you know, uh, Scripture says the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. And a lot of people interpret that as evil not, will not prevail over the church. But that's not what it says. It says the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. That means we need to go on the offensive. That's right. That's so, right. so, and and, and good will win. We have to stand up. So, I'm, we've been on, we've been on, I've been on this live stream for the Will and I for uh, over two hours now, okay. two hours wow, and four ready. minutes. So, I'm going ready. to uh, um, sign off <laughs> and give my blessing to the viewers and anyone who would watch this and to us here, and um, and then we'll be on our way. And what a joy to meet you! And you. and you'll see some of the this two hours. Uh, I hope that people found it uh, of some interest. Um, these live streams, you never know where they're going to go, and they, um, like I say, I hope, uh, you know, you watch them maybe in bits, uh, or while you're doing the dishes, or 
whatever. We're, um, we're setting because, up a, 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 a studio here for videographers and the documentarians. There you go. They're looking for places to edit their equipment. We're going to have a full, okay. uh, a full studio. I, well, you'll see. I'm, I'm pretty low tech. Okay. Right, all right. So uh, for everyone who's watching, everyone who will watch this and those here, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, protect you from my evil, bring you to everlasting life. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go Amen. in peace. Live in the truth. Live free. Right on. Yeah, no, you guys Where's are great. Yeah, come by any 